Hi, this is Richard Ortiz with the Fighter's Voice. Voiceography at its finest. Every fighter has a voice, and so does Madman Marcos Hernandez. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada. He's about to go to war this Saturday on the undercard of Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor. Enough said. How we doing, champ? Doing good, Richard. How about you? You know what? I'm doing good. I'm doing good after the 10th take, but we're rocking and rolling here. We got my own back represented right here, and uh, we got Ruben right here in the background. Most of all, we got you, Madman Hernandez. You know, from Fresno, California, you get the call, and now you're ready, um, something you've been waiting for since you were young. What's going through your mind? Um, just ready to fight. Um, I was supposed to fight on Tuesday this, this same week, so it wasn't really much of a difference. They called me like two, three weeks ago. Just a four-day difference. I was, you know, I had my regimen going. I was ready already. Um, it's just, you know, you stick to the same game plan. Nothing changes. It's just a bigger bigger event, you know, more eyes watching. So it's a, it's a definitely a plus. Millions of people are going to be watching, so it's going to be a good night. You know, I got to ask you this. Um, usually when you prepare yourself for a fight, you're, you're in your hometown of California, then you leave for camp, but you're in Las Vegas. I mean, when you're walking through, I mean, just the atmosphere, has it changed your performance as far as you mentally you're thinking at all, or are you 100% focused? Um, no, nothing's changed. It's kind of cool, you know, big atmosphere, you know. It's kind of cool. A lot of people here and all that you know people are taking pictures of me they don't even know who i am they just see they see me hey you a fighter oh i want to take a picture with you you look like a fighter and I was like, oh okay <laughs> but um it's, it's it's cool you know um i i kind of like it's it's a it's a good um good experience but um i'm just focused on fighting you know, I bet it's something you can get used to. I mean, you worked real hard since you were a kid, and uh, representing Fresno, uh, how does that make you feel once you climb in the ring? Um, everybody that's believed in you since day one, the fighter's voice, we've always had your back. Uh, I got my own back, got your back. Most of all, Madman, Team Madman has your back. When you walk into that ring, is it just you in there, or is it everybody that you're representing? Well, you kind of just have to focus on your opponent and just focus on the job you need to do, but definitely, um. The training camp, you know, you have definitely people supporting you. And um, like I, I was living with a family um, that helped me with my meal prep out here. And I was actually in Los Angeles for, um, well, in Riverside training for this for this fight. And, um, you know, I had a family, the Brewer family, that helped me with um, sh my conditioning. I mean, yeah, my conditioning, my, pre my, uh, my meal preps and all that stuff, you know, gave me a house to stay in. And then just helped me with all that. Henry Ramirez was, this is going to be my first fight with him with a full training camp so and it was a very good experience out there with um good solid sparring inside the gym i don't have to travel four hours to go spar somebody i had it in the gym had didn't have to go nowhere and mess up my my routine or nothing and um you know and my dad of course always helping me out with when it would however he can whenever he can he always helps me out and just family support just in general you know, that's very well said. You know, uh, I'm going to let you go. Uh, I know you got some focusing to do and uh, just play the whole fight out mentally. So what do you have to say to all the fanfare out there that watches you and supports you for Fresno, California? Um, just tune in August 26th. I'm going to show out and um, it's going to be a spectacle. It's going to be a good night of boxing and just for all fight fans. Hey, you heard it from the Mad Mad himself. Rich Ortiz with the fighter's voice and it's a wrap. Thumbs up for Richie here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hi, this is Richard Ortiz with The Fighter's Voice. Voiceography at its finest. Every fighter has a voice, and so does Madman Marcos Hernandez. We caught up with him with here. Really? <laughs> All right, cut. <laughs> no, no more drinking the night before. No, no, no more drinking the night before. <clears throat> okay, let's, let's, let's rock and roll this right here. Here we go. <laughs> Take, seven. Take, yeah. Take, Take, Take 10. Seven. Take 10. Now, here we go. Okay. Hi, this is Richard Ortiz. <laughs> at, least, at least you're warmed up and at least you're having a good time. <laughs> okay. And it's okay. Hey, we're going to keep rolling too. Whenever you guys are ready, go. It's recording. So, why this fight, Marcos? <laughs> really? So why the laughing gas before a fight? Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> this is messy. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, we recorded this, right? Because I want to keep this on our page. Okay, here we go. Professional yeah. little matters right, finest. Here we go. Hi. <laughs> Can we clear the, the watery eyes? Okay, we're going to jump right into it. Okay. 